Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there. Hi there. Hello there. Come on in. Have a seat. Do whatever you feel you need to do. You can do all things by way of the Most High God, especially coming in with your higher self. You can do everything that you want to do with the exception of coming for me and my divine soul team. And if you are coming in with that energy, then there is a 100% chance that you are a karmic and you're unhealed and you're just coming to see what's going on. But we know that you're going through towers. This is your news though. So you made it to the right story. You made it to the right, the right platform at the right time on the right day. Listen, depending on how you see time, is it an illusion? Is it real? Listen, seems as though all of our lifetimes are being morphed into one big lifetime. This is what we're finding. Needless to say, karmic news updates, if you're returning back to the channel, you already know what the update is. You just came here to confirm it because why not? This is how we meet up with one another by way of being in our divine soul tribe. And it's always a good day to have a good day and or meet up with people that share the same soul as you that have been through very similar test right by way of the levels that we've completed i welcome you in i love you you love me we're a wonderful beautiful family aren't we listen honey bunny my bunny honey listen karmic news update lord have mercy when i say dethroned demoted uh, is there such word as depowered, empowered? We're empowered. I don't know, but they don't have any power. We're empowered with the fact that they have no power because in that it has given us room and space to be about our father's work, which was our only goal. Anyway, we never needed to have power over people that didn't have any power over us. That was never our ultimate goal. This was about being about our father's work. These people were in the way, or they used to be, right? But we've since surpassed those levels. So when I say the karmic news update is very interesting, they are not freeing all of their sons. Some of them are bound. A lot of them sacrifice their children and they don't even know it. How do you sacrifice your child by way of being a karmic? By putting a man before your children? You know, you got earth angel children and maybe you allowed that man to violate your child spiritually, mentally, physically, however that was, right? Suffer not the little children to come unto the most high God. Yeah, listen, protecting these children. A lot of them sacrificed their children. Why? Because a lot of them did witchcraft in order to get with a divine masculine while that divine masculine was going through some type of an ascension and vice versa. A lot of these karmic masculines did work on divine feminines trying to tie into their bloodline by way of freeing their lineage without having to do the work. Hence the fact now the burden is now upon the child. Why? Because those are lineages that were brought together by way of illusion, sex magic, witchcraft, love spells, blah, 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 whatever, trying to appear to be the divine feminine or the divine masculine, and they all a whole karmic in a bucket of karmic bullshit. Listen, I'm just keeping it real. Newcomers, listen, that was a commercial break, okay? Now, if you were wondering, maybe you've heard about Maybe you only came here to see what the commercial breaks are about. Maybe you heard about it by way of a rumor in the ethers. I don't know. But the commercial breaks are essential. This is when spirit just takes over and just gives me a little breather. Because sometimes being in the ethers is it's like, it's deep. It's real deep. It's deeper than anything that I could say. It's deeper than Atlantis. It's deeper than so many things that I, sometimes I'm without words. I'm just sitting there like, huh? What is this? right? So meanwhile, the underworld is under judgment. People that have been bound to these demonic forces by way of their dark ass lineage that try to put you up for sacrifice are suffering in silence. That's what I heard. The towers are falling silently because these people's egos 
won't allow them to admit the fact that they have been defeated by the most high God and who the most high chose to come and whoop that spiritual ass. So what do they do? The ego is telling them, oh, just act as if everything's okay, right? So you're like, oh, I thought they said they were getting karma. She was just on Instagram and she got on all her makeup and she looking good. Girl, that's fake. That's false. And if you're still checking somebody's social media, then your ass is stuck in a karmic cycle. Let the karmics bury the karmics. The end. Listen. Oh, most high. Allow me to intercede on behalf of this interesting story. Karmic download here in spiritual cards. Allow me to intercede on behalf of my beautiful loved ones, my soul tribes who are coming here just for confirmation, just for commercial breaks and or shits and giggles or all of the above. Somebody just want everything on the menu. I support you in that energy. Believe it or not, whatever energy you decide to come in, I support you in the energy. I pray that you come in with your higher self. I come in with my higher self, my divine spirit team, and I've already called in my appropriate protection. I pray that you've done the same. Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors, Archangel Michael, in the lower realms, in the bottomless pit, I just heard, in the caverns, in the escapades of hell. We did see the Nine of Swords in the previous energy. Yeah, a lot of twin flame energy. Listen, you got twin, I cannot make it up. A lot of twin flame energy. You got one twin flame that has ascended and one that has descended. The end. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know how to explain it. Here it go, right here. What you want me to say? This is the person. Okay, look, and look at what's at the bottom of the deck. You think I'm kidding? I don't have to make this stuff up because reality is better than fiction. The lovers is here. I'm being guided to take it. Yeah, five of pentacles is here. I'm being guided to take it. Equal give and take is here. Two of cup. Come on, y'all. Do we really need to get into this? Somebody's sneaky and deceptive. Somebody's sneaking and peeking down in the cavern of hell and they don't even have a window seat. What are you looking at? You can't even see where we're at. We are the new hierophants. So this is your energy, divine feminine, divine masculine, my beautiful earth angel babies, children, star seeds. Listen, Reiki healers, gurus, masters, ascended masters. This is your energy. Four of Wands and the Hierophant, very highly spiritually protected, coming into unions at this level is divine. That means that your counterpart is mirroring you. You're not coming in needing to fix and or hold up more of your end of the bargain than what is required, right? Because when you share the same soul with somebody, you constantly have to stay in a high vibration for somebody that want to sit down there and suckle the breast of Satan. Like seriously, enjoying it. They're giving me the guy in the matrix that was in love with being in the matrix. Remember, he was eating the steak. He says, you know what? I know this isn't real, but I don't care. I want to stay here. He refused to ascend. I'm going to need you to wake up to the signs and the symbols. Listen, these were lovers that had contracts with you that you had to leave out in the cold. Some of them refused to grow. You almost lost your life by way of holding a place of love and light for somebody that never intended to go into the light, for somebody that did not want to uphold their end of the spiritual contract by way of coming into the spiritual world, this is the karmic update. Listen, the Eight of Swords represents the dark night of the soul. Okay, two polar opposites, Devil, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Lovers, Four of Wands, and the Hierophant. Let's just really give that some energy. This is like holy spiritual marriage, like people that are already married in the ethers. Okay, by way of the Ascended Masters uh, um, attending the ceremony, right? By way of it being written in the stars, it is written, it is so. These marriages have already taken place in the ethers and people have not even met in the physical world yet. Okay, listen, I'm gonna need you to really tap into these ethers. If you have the keys, if you don't, then this karmic news is your update. This is what you're here. This is your portion. You know how we say, come on in. Pick up what's for you, re whatever resonates with you. Take that and leave the rest. Well, karmics, this is your energy. I'm going to need you to leave the rest. 
These are soulmates that got left out in the cold. They left you no other choice. Why? Because you have a purpose in this life for all of humanity. And it's going to be a cold ass day, literally in hell. If you denounce your spiritual ranking and or position by way of what it is you've come here to do. This was like cutting off your right arm. Why? Because you're trying to wake this feminine up. You're trying to wake this masculine up. You're trying to wake up certain people. Okay? Some of y'all tried to wake up your mama. Some of you tried to wake up your dad. Some of you try, tried to wake up these karmic ass children. Yeah. These people have been blinded to the truth. They're under this illusion that what is going on in the world has everything to do with them. It's delusions of grandeur. The ego is very, very big. And what it's done in karmic veal has gotten them a permanent spot in karmic hell. It really ain't no way else to paint that picture. It's an ugly picture. Meanwhile, the karmics, show me more of what I need to see, Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors. Please allow me to stand in between the realms as I got the keys, me and the divine soul tribe. Show us what we need to see. Yeah, you're not playing. These people wanted to stay in situations. They kept doing magic. It is a very, very um, interesting dynamic for me. When somebody knows that you're their soulmate, meaning you share parts of their soul and or the same soul, or at least until you were kind of excused and or delivered and or released from these dark ass contracts because they didn't want to hold up their end of the bargain. Read the fine print I just heard. A lot of them put you in some funky ass third party situations, collaborated with people, okay, to work against you. It's very interesting to me when they do magic over you because don't they realize that because they don't want to come into the light that they're really projecting this onto themselves. It's a lose-lose situation. And a lot of them, if not all of them, have had to learn the hard way. It is the choice that they made by way of having free will. They're saying, no, I refuse to ascend. I know this isn't real, but I really want to be a part of the world. I really care more about these shoes than I do people. Why you got all that food on your plate when you know the man down the street don't have no food? This is karmic ass energy, selfish, narcissist, sociopathic, slightly and or ain't slightly psychopathic ass tendencies. Listen, the nine of cups is you moving towards wishes being fulfilled. Some of these people feel as though you owe them something. They feel obligated to your ace of pentacles, your ten of pentacles. But where do you know that you can go to a job and they pay you and you don't do the work? Okay. Well, I haven't seen a job like that as of yet. I don't know. And if I ever should so happen to have a company of which I do, I hope and I pray that I get the right people working for me that can see the same things that I can, that we have a common understanding by way of passion and determination to get the job done. Why do these people feel obligated to celebrate with you now that you're celebrating. These people collaborated with low vibrational like parasites. You know, it's giving me spiritual pH imbalance type of an energy. It's giving me sexually transmitted demons type of an energy. Willingly, knowingly, this is how you decided to wallow in hell all while this person was over here ascending a whole ascendant master? Okay, listen. I just heard this person, these people failed many, many lifetimes. This also represents family members, y'all. Show me what else I need to see. Karmic news, karmic updates. Um, the reason why we're getting our energy is because they're being, like, not forced, but it's inevitable that they would see us in this energy. Like, you can't miss this light, right? Even in the dark, you can't miss it. It's like illuminating Everything that was done in the dark is coming to the light. The moon is wicked. These people used to live for the moon cycles. Now they're afraid of the moon cycles because they don't have what they thought they had. They realize that they were always in this self-imposed illusion of which they no longer have the keys to get out. The crazy part was you surpassed this level and somebody's like, no, stay here with me in hell. You like ain't a chance in hell. I'm staying here with you in hell. What are you talking about? I'm leaving. 
You can't leave me. I'm your soulmate. I'm your twin. No, I had a talk with the Most High God. Get the Most High on the phone. Do, 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 do. One, 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 one. Connect me to the Most High God. Yes. This is the Most High God. Yeah, Most High is me. Look. I know I signed up for this love relationship. I'm trying to wake up my twin, my soulmate. This person has slept with everybody in the neighborhood. They are community D, community P, community B, whatever you want to call it, community balls. Okay? And it's giving, I'm, I'm, I'm for everybody type of an energy. The most high is like, yeah, I've been watching. I heard about that. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh-huh. You know I'm omnipresent, all seen. I'm at the same place all the time, everywhere, simultaneously. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know that. Listen, most high, I'm going to need you to deliver me from whatever type of devil this is that has hold of my twin because it is affecting my union with you. The most high is like, no, it's never been affecting your union with me. That too was an illusion. You sat there and you got your chastening from the most high God. You say, I understand. You took your instructions. And then you realize that you always had the power to walk away. And so you did. You did. As hard as that was, as difficult as that was, stepping into uncertainty, you were courageous. You're the empress, loving, caring, kind, remembering the greater scheme of things. And you left love behind you and what appeared to be a hellhole, very much a hellhole, <clears throat> excuse me. And somebody doesn't like that. They don't get this ace of pentacles with you, but they cannot fraternize with you. They cannot hang out with you. These people don't have enough spiritual understanding to even sit in the table, at the table where you're at. I just heard blocked by the universe. I just heard blocked by the universe. Meanwhile, down in hell, they still got their dark, or dark ass altars because they don't have nothing else to do for all of eternity. They're still doing whatever they feel the devil needs them to do. And listen, this is the reality. The devil has delivered them to the most high God under judgment because the devil can't do anything that the most high says that the devil can't do. Especially when the time is up. So it's almost like you have the bulk of the energy, right? On the planet, representing the divine collective, highly vibrational, holding up our end of the bargain, and so now this energy again is becoming extinct. Nobody really cares about the karmic news. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, I could, you could be burping. You could be passing energy. Maybe somebody was sending me some type of energy. I don't know. It's not my concern. Listen, it's a hell to the no for you. The fool is here. Okay. This is like, no, I'm not going back to hell for you, your mama, your daddy, your sister, or anybody. I don't give a damn if you're my twin. That contract is closed, and now the Most High is granting me a holy spiritual marriage by way of a true high level, high vibrational. I don't have to come in and build a man, build a bear type of an energy, build a woman up type of an energy, build up a friend type of an energy. There's an equal admiration. By way and death of the ego, we're here to serve one another. And it's a beautiful game of getting and receiving. And to go back to hell for who? For what? To do what? When y'all all sitting down there drinking and sinking and thinking? And you trying to figure out what the hell happened? Where's your God or the lack thereof? Listen, you got fooled. I'm being guided to take the four cups. Some of these people were long suffering, you know, slow moving energy thinking and or hoping that you would have felt that and had some type of weak ass compassion for it. You can't afford that. You're like, I ain't got time to do that this level in the game. What are you talking about? Reject it, right? You now have to submit any paperwork, documents, energy to my divine ancestors. And if they say no, then it's an epic mother freaking fail. It's a hell to the no for me too. You're getting the dial tone. Listen, karmic news. What's the bullshit? 
I free all my sons. Listen, we out here loving and loving. Listen, I said, what is the, listen, let me show you this. I said, what's the update? Ten of Wands, this is them. Way down, upset, nine of swords, stressed and pressed and depressed and, 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 and trying to figure things out. How did we end up here? I love it how they are in this state of confusion. Oh my God, what were we doing? What were we thinking? Forgive us for we knew not what we were doing. Now they're copying you. Now they're trying to hear how you pray. Now they want to see what you're doing. They're coming to the platforms. They're not giving up. They're doing work over your platforms. They don't want you to be seen. They're like, la, 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 la. They're like, listen, there are the new ops. But guess what? Nobody cares. The only reason we're channeling this is because spirit, for whatever reason, needs us to understand just how these contracts have ended up here and what exactly us leaving has led the balance to. This is balancing out the energies. By you being in that Eight of Cups energy, you've thrusted these people into judgment in the underworld and they're bound to it. These people don't want to be bound to it. But it has nothing to do with us. You could hear them crying out in the ethers. Maybe you feel your twin crying out to you, right? Or maybe you don't. Because a lot of you are saying, you know what? I used to feel this energy and now I don't. I just don't feel this person's energy anymore. Hmm. Listen, show me what else I need to see. You are the star. I just said public platforms. Whoever we are, where we're at, we are in the public eye. We are prosperous. We are beautiful. We are glowing. We're unapologetic. Yes, they're burning the shut up. You know, caete tu boca, tapa boca, la la la, burning candles in our names. What else they gonna do down in hell? They ain't got nothing else to do. Ain't no light down there. At least the candle is giving y'all a little light, but your magic has been rejected by the underworld because it's under judgment. Listen, they don't like that. So they like to cause distractions only to realize that the eight of swords is a self-imposed imprisonment. All of this is illusions in their mind. They are the new unhealthy, uh, you know, mentally like, like they're the restless mind is what I'm getting. These are people that can't sleep, y'all. The eight of swords, nine of swords, ten of swords, the fool in reverse. We like, no, what are you doing? A lot of these people are like, oh, you can't leave me. Oh, you'll always love me. Yeah, I gave you the love that I gave you at the time because obviously you needed it. You can keep that. It's a gift for me and the divine because you're going to need it where you're going. But what you did with it was you devoured it by way of being toxic, by way of wanting to continue with your generational curses. Oh, my daddy was an alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic. When my mama was mad, I'm going to be mad. When mama had diabetes, you're just speaking all this stinkiness onto your bloodline and your DNA. Like, ew, you like coming back here in this energy? Okay, listen. So what you did with the love that I gave you was you devoured it. Now you need it. And you're like, oh, can you give me some more? No, you're not about to siphon my power and my energy, my light. I'm going to be with my divine collective. I'm going to sit in a seat with those people that share and understand my soul that are giving me love just as I'm giving it to them. It is very genuine. This is ingenuine. This is not mathing. On a spiritual level, this energy just is not mathing. Show me Karmic Hill. The judgment on the Karmic Hill. They want to come in with an offer. It's a hell to the no. Your ancestors are saying, leave your message here, but the mailbox is motherfucking full. Okay? Let's just have a commercial break. Baby, honey child, honey boom. These people are going through so much that they won't even admit to themselves, even in the presence of the Most High, even under judgment, they won't admit the fact of what it is that they did. They refuse. And this is what's crazy. Because when you really think about it, how are you not going to admit your faults in the presence of the creator of all things? How? 
<clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I had some doggone sunflower seeds and one is still stuck in my throat. Oh, that was a Randall commercial break. How are you going to do that? How soon we forget type of an energy. You lack conscience. You're lying to yourself. You're in an illusion. We can't afford that. No, leave us alone. We're happy. So somebody wants you to not speak the truth. They don't have enough in them to even request that by way of the ethers. They're not even walking in enough truth to even make a request to the universe for you not to walk in your truth. They really don't. And so here lies the concern by way of this page of pentacles. You got good things coming in. Yeah, I cannot make it up. I keep saying the underworld is under judgment because they abuse these spirits. They lied to these demonic ass forces that already knew that we couldn't be touched. So in reality, it was a beautiful example of what being the sacrificial lamb was. Why? Because what it did was it drew all of your enemies into one destination and or spot also known as hell and or the lake of fire, whatever you want to call it for them to be under some type of judgment, right? Yeah. It's, it's like, why not just have them all in one group so we don't have them scattered? They're already scattered. They've been separated one from another. Their whole groups and covens and whatever the hell they got going on under the darkness in the dark has been dismantled. They're the only ones that ain't figured it out. They're the only ones still blinded to the truth. They just running around in circles. Somebody saying, oh, she's coming back. He's coming back. No, they're not. I would love to get you a message down there, but I'm not even allowed to be down there no more with y'all because it stinks. It's spiritually funky down in this cavern of hell by way of your karma. Your karma has a stench. It has your name written all over it. You can't even put it on the next person, okay? Listen, your offers, your apologies have been rejected. When you were in a position to be genuine, you refused to do so. You love being in that energy. We're in new contracts and new unions. Some of these people got so much karma up to their freaking eyebrows and pupils that they can't climb out of it in this lifetime or the next. They didn't understand the curses that they were really invoking on their lineage by way of this lifetime and many, many more to come. So you like it here. You want to stay. You know that it's not real. You're in love and lust with money, things. You put that before decency and other humans. He, uh, you know, uh, disregard for humanity is what it is. Disrespect for the earth, for life. You chose death. So guess what? You love it so much. You love it so much. The judgment in the underworld is that you get to stay there. You can come back as many lifetimes as you want. Some of them will keep coming back for all of eternity. Powerless though. Okay. Powerless. Because the world would immediately reject you and or mark you as being the darkest anomaly and you're just not going to fit. I don't care if you come back 33 more lifetimes in this demonic ass energy to try to do whatever it is. You've been rendered powerless. The contracts that we had with you are no more. It is a reality. Listen. Somebody don't want to admit reality. Somebody's really wanting to love this illusion and or still fall for it. I'm just glad it's not my divine collective. Listen, meanwhile, we're about our earthly matters. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be significant. I know that it is by way of the divine collective. Capricorn is giving me gatekeeper energy. It's giving me 21. L.A.Y. Right? It's giving me the S.U.E. Listen, people don't know my walk. Sit down. Sit down, Karmic. I see you over there. Shut up. What you doing here? Every time I upload a video, you sitting over there in line. Oh, you in my energy. Oh, you, oh, oh, oh. Shut up. This is you, goofball. Go take a wheatgrass shot. Oh, I'm sorry. They don't have wheatgrass in hell. My bad. I, I've been in the ethers and the higher ups for so long and in the higher realms that we're drinking papaya juice, our chakras are aligned, our pH balance is decent because we're not dealing with no sexually transmitted parasites. 
We've taken a vow of celibacy and we've broken up with this energy. We have divorced this energy. We had a conversation with this devil said, look, it's a wrap, boo. I already came into my awakening. And you asking me to go back to sleep? You got to be crazy. Yes, they are. I got one person that comes all the time. Oh, I hate you. Beep, beep. She called me off. I'm like, who the hell is this? Who sent this flunky, this minion, this fake spiritual practitioner? You sitting up with your fake ass alekes and your head wrapped up and it ain't a damn thing divine about you. You are the devil. Oh, by the way, I'm a Capricorn. Don't mention me in your videos. Listen, you making the high vibrational Capricorns look bad and they about to open up a door on your ass in the divine collective. Shout out to my high vibrational Capricorns. Listen, this one here needs to be rejected and ejected. Oh, I'm sorry. They already have been. Listen, these little sarcastic commercial breaks be real. Straight up out of the ethers, okay? They thought that they were really about to do something. I always get that weirdo. It's like a weirdo. I'm like, girl, who are you? I don't even know who this person is. I said, oh, they sent you. You're a minion. You came from the bottom of the ranks. You so low ranked and so low vibrational. They sent you for me and the divine collective. And you out here gang stalking. Oh, baby, I've overcome anger to the capacity that a lot of people wouldn't even understand. It don't mean that I don't have anger. I'm just slow to it because I understand. What you say and or think about me and the Divine Collective, you, you can't control us. We don't care what you think. <laughs> what you thought I wouldn't go show back up to the platform? You thought I was supposed to go away because you was collaborating with that Leo that you sent in that you tried to act like they were my friend? Okay, listen, I'm going to need you to really get it together. I'm going to need you to get it together before I have to make a call to my Puerto Ricanians. Okay, in Puerto Rico. Come on, man. Listen. These little low vibrational little mutts, <laughs> they're a collaboration of all low vibrational lineages. There's incest. Some of these people that slept with their cousins. Some of them then sacrificed children, siphoning children's energy. You are the lowest vibrational thing to ever have existed. And the fact that the Most High has heard our prayer by way of being just disgusted with your energy disgusted with your uh, projections. That in itself is a blessing to watch this energy be dismantled and discarded. It is basura. It is trash. It is rancid. It is spiritually funky. There's no spiritual uh, deodorant for your spiritual stench. Because by way of your demonic ass contract that you now bound to with Satan, you still trying to come out and act like you a divine being. I see you over there researching everything, trying to figure out how to become divine. Girl, boy, bye. Go have a permanent nap. Please. In the cavern and the escapade of hell that's been assigned to you with your name on it. When you was doing that dark ass work, you was about, you was about your father's work. What? And you like, I'm about my father's work. Oh, I'm just going to and fro looking for whom I can devour. Oh, here, here's a platform. Oh, let me come for her. This what you did for the day? That was your goal when you woke up? Like, what are you talking about? So you woke up looking for whom you can hurt? And you just mad? How you wake up in that energy and go to sleep in that energy too? Right? And then you try to come and act like you're happy, but really you're not. You're going mad. You're going insane. You're a mad woman, a mad man laughing, uh, trying to shape shift, but you've been in the darkness too long that you can't come back to the light. The light was the partner that you had by way of this divine being that came into your life that gave you an opportunity to grow. We were cloaked. Had you known who we were, you would not have led you and all your flunkies and other karmics to the slaughter. It was a divine plan. It was brilliant. We were the bait. <laughs> oh my god we were the baits we are the baits come on in i love it oh you gonna do another death spell tonight okay i'll see you there listen let me know how that works out for you okay remember there's a bed with your name on it right next to that demonic ass force that you can't get away from that entity attachment <laughs> 
Oh, P.S. The gods in the underworld, they have to respect us. They love us too because we're about our father's work. So we do control the angels and the demons. You really need to sit down. Listen, temperance is here. Sagittarius energy. That gives me war, fire, always does. Also gives me Archangel Michael energy. Listen, Divine Collective, you're hitting the lottery spiritually. You're just up, up, up. You're all the way up. You're all the way up. You're all the way up. Up, up, you all the way up, you all the way up. You... Okay, listen, I need a little commercial break. Ah! And so I'm just glad that the most high gave you a little commercial break. I'm always eternally grateful when I get those little spiritual commercial breaks. Because I got everybody's divine ancestors right now. When I open that door, they sitting right here. So when you see this energy that's pushing me, this is all the divine using me as a tool, like my entire body pressing that light into the divine collective by way of allowing us to see each other in the ethers and vice versa y'all do it for me it's a game of giving and receiving as we press that light into our path as we follow the yellow brick road we realize we always had the courage of brain we always had everything we needed all we had to do was click our heels and we were there but you didn't realize at the time that you were tied to somebody and this was their energy that you were feeling. It was never meant for you to be in this prison. But you were cloaked. They didn't know who you were. He just couldn't see that I was his empress. He just didn't know that I was his twin flame. She didn't know that I was her divine masculine. They just didn't know. That was never your energy. And then the Most High delivered you from this soul contract and just released you. You cut all soul ties. You've mastered it. I'm so proud of y'all because behind the scenes, you're really doing the work. Anybody that knows me off the clock, off the camera, off the grid knows I'm about that mother freaking spiritual work. I don't give a damn about putting on no show for you two, bookies. No, ma'am. No, sir. Not today. Not tomorrow. I'm not the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. I work for my father and there's only a few people that get to see me really in a vulnerable state, but I'm always a good example because I truly believe what it is the most I ask me here to do. No, I'm not better than you. I'm just better than who I was. You thinking that I'm better than you trying to shake you up. You don't like that. I talk a little ass bad, y'all. That's all in your mind. You're triggered. You was triggered in the last lifetime when I slapped you out the box. Remember that last lifetime you came for me and I was healing people. I was the lady that people went to in the forest mixing up herbs and you told them burn her at the stake. I slap boxed your ass again and told you I'll be back. And then I came back as your child. Ah! Some of y'all was born to y'all karmics by way of a perfect divine plan. Isn't that brilliant with these karmic ass mamas? Mamas that sacrificed us. Daddies tried to sacrifice us. You were supposed to die at age 19, age 27, age pop, 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 pop. And then they're sitting there like, what? These people got egg on their face. You are in the Ten of Pentacles. This is family inheritance. This is uh, gifts being handed down to you by way of your lineage of being of the ascendant master lineage, the apostle lineage, the bloodline, royal bloodline in the DNA. I got royalty and loyalty inside my DNA. I got power in my DNA. There's power in the blood. 